Hi everybody, I'm Alain Brunot from Alchemical Works, which is my one-man studio where I make the game Battlejuice Alchemist. I did something really amazing, but also I think really stupid over the last few days, which is I worked on the enemies out of combat AI for my game and I think it's totally over-engineered. The enemies now have thirst and hunger and they need to rest and they want to interact socially with each other and uh, they can achieve that by interacting with the world or interacting with the player or even each other. And even though it's totally not necessary, I think it's super cool and I wanted to share it with you. So let's take a look at my super over complex enemy AI behavior. That is really too much, I think, for an action RPG, but I think you will like it. All right, let's begin with the enemy's AI behavior as it was in Battlejuice Alchemist before I started working on the overhaul. In Unreal Engine, you can use behavior trees to control AI behavior. The behavior for my enemies while not fighting the player was quite simple. If the enemy was close to the player and not sleeping and could not see the player, it was idle. In this case, the enemy walked back to the spawning location, which we could call its home. Back at home, it walked around randomly and went to sleep. If it was nighttime, that is. A funny thing is that this enemy waddles around quite aimlessly and that the finished AI also waddles around in a similar fashion, but let's not talk about that right now and start designing our super sophisticated AI and see where it takes us. The first thing I did was to add a system of needs that the enemies can act on. I decided to have four needs, food, water, rest and cover, and I wanted to be able to monitor an enemy's needs at any time, so I added them to the UI. If the bar is full means that the need is completely fulfilled. The value for food needs to decrease over time, and when the enemy is sleeping, food diminishes more slowly than when it is awake. It is the same with water, but for water I even took rain and fog into consideration. I mean, if the weather is damp, it is not necessary to drink that much, right? I hope that makes any sense. There already is a quite elaborate weather system in Battlejuice Alchemist that I simply pulled the values from which I needed. The enemy's need for rest is more simple than for food or water. Enemies get tired when awake and even more tired when moving around and doing things. Cover is maybe the most complex value. I thought about having a need for social interaction, but I decided to boil that down and integrate it into the cover value. Enemies want to be close to each other, because they provide each other cover. That is, when they don't all fall asleep at the same time. Here I took inspiration from a half-life creature called the Hound Eye. Maybe you remember those dogs with the three legs? They spawn in groups and when the pack goes to sleep, the leader stands on its back foot and watches over the others. In Battlejuice Alchemist there is no pack leader, but the last enemy nearby does not go to sleep when all the others around it are sleeping, so it can provide them cover. Other sources for cover are trees and buildings for example, but also fog or even water if the enemy is amphibian. This brings us to another point. After the needs were in place, I added characteristics to the different enemy types. Enemies could now be amphibian or nocturnal or loners, all of which influences their behavior. Now that all needs were implemented and also diminishing correctly, I could have the enemies act towards replenishing them. So let's take a look at what the new behavior tree looks like. If the enemy is not sleeping and not in a fight and cannot see the player, it stops looking at the player and then starts acting towards fulfilling its needs. If there is no need to act on, the enemy starts sleeping or walks home. If rest is the most urgent need, the enemy obviously goes to sleep, but only if there is enough cover. If the enemy is thirsty, it starts looking for a source of water and drinks there. If it is hungry, it starts searching for an area with edible plants. In case the most urgent need is cover, the enemy simply walks home. The idea behind that is that all enemies meet at home and provide each other cover there. Okay, now we have some pretty cool behavior, but I wanted to go a bit further. I made a variable called well-being, which is calculated as the average of all needs. 
The enemy only starts acting towards the most urgent need if its well-being is low. It then decides on a strategy how to increase its well-being. The main factor is simply which of the values for food, water, rest or cover is the lowest. But I thought it would be cool to make a simple system that makes the enemy AI even a bit smarter. The AI evaluates the strategies it uses to fulfill its needs. For example, if it could not find food when it was hungry, it gets biased towards choosing to search water instead of food, even if its urge for food is more pressing than its thirst. Put simply, the creature learned that food is hard to come by where it lives, so it focuses on the problems it knows it can fix to increase its overall well-being. You could call that a very simple form of memory or learning, which I think is pretty neat. Now that we have super smart enemies, we can hook up their brain to our other systems. For example, well-being is checked when the player approaches. If the enemy has a low well-being, it acts more aggressively. Also, well-being influences the physical fitness of an enemy, which means this enemy does more damage. As a finishing touch, I added the behavior that the enemies check out items which are lying on the ground. Some items replenish a need value, but checking out items has a nice side effect too. It makes the enemies more likely to interact with the player, because the player is very likely to check out items on the ground too. So, what does this all lead to? We now have an AI that makes enemies waddle around following their needs, which essentially does not look so much different from what they were doing before. But I really enjoy watching them. And it makes me happy to know that they themselves now know what they want. So, that's all for today. As I said, what I made here is quite over complex for an action RPG, I think. But I hope some of you enjoyed watching how I made the system and can appreciate it for what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments or on the Discord server. You can wishlist Battlejuice Alchemist on Steam, there's a link for that in the description. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe, or even support me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.